Let's Play! Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Blind. Today, hopefully, we're gonna do this. Temple of Chaos. I grinded a bit, I got all the items I can carry. I maxed out my gill, actually, uh, other than the 30 I needed, I think, to heal at the inn. Uh, so yeah, we are freaking ready for this. Also, I discovered you can talk to these bats now for some reason. Talk to them, you're like, The Fault Fiends of Chaos were taking the crystal's light and sending its power to the past. Someone 2,000 years in the past is absorbing that power. He is our true foe. And this one's like, Am I dreaming? Is it, it is the light of the four crystals we cannot regain. Take those crystals and step into the portal of time. It will take you 2,000 years into the past. How about you? Let the light of the four crystals shine upon the black crystal in the center of the chamber. United, the four forces will open up a portal to the Temple of Chaos as it existed 2,000 years ago. What about you? We are the Sky People. We came here after tracing the route of the world's ruin to this place. That was 400 years ago. And finally, ha! Huh, the crystal's radiance has restored my speech! Chaos cast a curse on us, turning us into bats. Did he also kill your parents? Because if not, he's not going all the way. But we're going back to Temple of Chaos. Um, I've sort of looked where to go next, sort of. Um, I didn't go. I didn't do a practice run yet. I just sort of glanced around the room looking for possible stairways. Needless to say, I found out where to go, and it's all good. I also got every bit of magic my guys can learn because I missed level 2 magic. Um, I'm so ready to go, and we've already maxed out our gill. So yeah, we are ready, Freddy. Yeah! Am I excited? Totally! Am I kinda worried that I'm still not powerful enough? Totally, because I was gonna go to 45, but I just got too tired and was just like, you know what? I don't need to put up with this right now. I should probably move Jarek up, because his defense is actually pretty decent now. Um, a lot better than Brad's. Brad's defense took a nosedive, and... Well, Tom just leveled up. That's good. Yeah, let's move our squishy people down. You can move there. No, you can move there. Uh, no, you have good... Uh, I don't know. Ah, it should be good. Ah, we're good. I have 99 potions, after all. And they will be gone very quickly. <laughs> because 99 potions doesn't last as long as they used to, you know? So, I have to go... Into the middle of this room, you know, the one place I've avoided the entire time for some reason. I don't know. Uh, that's that's painful magic that toxin right there. I think they said that I'm not sure. I was reading like the original NES walkthrough and it said gas dragons are the one you have to watch watch for. And I'm not sure if gas dragons are the green ones or if gas dragons are the the zombie dragons, because zombies and gas go pretty hand in hand. Yeah, of course, there's a door here that I never saw. If I get around the pillars... Oh, and, of, and there is a uh, encounter here. Oh, it's a death eye. Dude, that looks cool. Um, I'm pretty sure we can just kill it if we punch it. I heard that this, this, this right here is probably one of the best places for grinding. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> how much do we... Okay, no, it wasn't the death eye. Wow. Wow. That's kind of sad. A stone plate rests on the floor. It seems to emanate an evil force. Okay. Um, let's use the loot because I would not have known to do that. <laughs> oh, he's playing the prelude! And it actually is a loot. Cool. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Just like, like the Spanish guy you see at bars is like, Hello there, I play guitar. Do you want to listen to my guitar while I play with my abs? And then he, he like plays with his abs while he maybe plays a song, but mostly his abs. Also money. Holy crap, that money is so needless at this point. Okay, now we can get actually out of this area. I want to look for more treasure. No treasure. What is? Nope, not this corner. I'm guessing it's the other corner. Call me crazy. Whoa, it's Orios! Not to be confused with Chimera. They look the same, but they're not. Because they're actually weak. Especially when you punch them. Everything in this universe is weak to punching. But then again, even in our universe, what isn't sort of weak to punching? You know, punch strong enough, and, and that's when bad stuff happens, you know. 
Well, let's go this way. Wee! I like how you can run. That's a nice a nice thing that you don't have to walk slowly. They had this before Pokemon. Like they had the run feature in this way before Pokemon had it. And that's good. Actually, I, I don't know if it did actually have in the original have the um the run function or dash. Sprint? It's a lot of words for, for a very basic function. Alrighty, and no, not there. Huh. Must be in one of the upper corners. I guess we'll go there then. Ooh, more dragon zombies. These guys aren't that, uh, they have kind of high physical attack, but nothing that we can't murder with our swords and fists. Mostly our fists. You know, I could have honestly done a run through of all monks and it, well, actually no. You know what? I probably wouldn't because the monk is quite, quite a weak class physically like I'm um, not physically but defensively that's what I mean though also to like magic and stuff Def just defensive in general another Rios and another Chimera too bad it won't see the light of day or maybe it will because it's gonna blaze us he smoked like seven marijuanas there I hope he doesn't die of blindness <laughs> I love old wives tales it's like did you know if you, if you masturbate, you go blind? It's like, how, wh wh where's the correlation? There, There is no physical correlation. But hey, don't tell the mothers, because it's bad, and your bodies are bad. And you could show as much boob as you want, but if you dare show a nipple, I swear to God, I'm going to gouge your eyes out and make you... I don't know what I was going to go and go with that. I was... Gonna say something about peeing blood, but that doesn't really work. That was the first thing come to my mind. Should get myself checked out. No, I shouldn't. I'm fine. And nope, not here either. Well, let's go this way. And enemies. See, this this is the part that kills me. I could already be on like the bottom floors and doing stuff, but if you get lost, that's when stuff gets bad. That's when enemies are everywhere. And the, you can't run from some of these, I don't think. Pretty sure. Because... Did we fight Chimeras as bosses before? We might have. And if not, then, you know... Even still, these guys... Like, I think we're at the point where their speed is so high, or they were bosses once, so that they're unrunnable. Unrunnable. That's a word. Okay, let's go and uh, get more enemies, of course. More dragon zombie. Oh, also, I organized all my items that all the ones that were, um, affect stuff. And the white robe and, uh, black robe actually have different functions. Also, the venom blade. Remember that insta-kill thing? Yeah, we got the insta-kill right now. Let's use these because I want to show them off because they're awesome. Let's use invis 2 because, holy crap, that'll be broken. Um, unless it only works on one person. I haven't tried that yet. And Thor's hammer. Mjolnir. First off, let's try to insta-kill any of them. Darn it, they're immune to insta-kill. I did insta-kill some blue dragons and that felt good, that felt... That felt really nice. Does it work on everyone? Dude, it works on everyone! Dude! That's so cool, but it, he still hit us somehow. It sucks butts. Yeah, wh what? Come on, we're supposed to be in... Oh, there we go. We're supposed to be invisible! Normally in RPGs, when you're invisible, it's like the chance of getting hit is so slim that it's not even worth it. But I guess not, okay? You know what? Fine. Just because our evasiveness was raised to maximum levels doesn't mean you could just be all like, mm, girl, I ain't taking any of that, and that's what you're like. Dragon zombies. Yes. Can we not, please? Another Ryos. I don't know why, I like saying that. Rios. It's like, like the Spanish guitar guy's like, hello, my name is Rios. I play my guitar. <laughs> I love the little Spanish, I love Spanish guitars too. Holy man, that's, that instrument makes me like, if I was a girl, woo, you have a Spanish guitar, I'd be all over you. I don't even care what you are. I'd be all over you in your Spanish guitar and Spanish accent. You know what, N not even, not even if I was a girl. Now maybe. Maybe I'm Oh, we're actually doing pretty good. Um Jarek and Brad are near dead, but uh Fuad and Tom are, are coping fairly well. Then again, Brad is like no HP ever. 
at all, of all time. Okay, so now we're back on the first floor, and now I know where to go. We go right across this hallway right here. Because I saw a white dragon soul! I don't like you. They actually don't do too much damage. Um, honestly, those those dark wizards, dark elves on the first floor, or they're, they're uh, not first floor, the third floor, are much, much, much worse. Um, not dark wizard, dark elves, dark mage, dark fighter, I think, I'm not sure. Plus, these guys only have like 250 HP, so not the biggest deal, but still kind of, uh, kind of scary. Uh, let's use some of our potions here, why not? Thankfully, it actually doesn't take that long to fully heal from a potion because sometimes you might get a, a lot. You know, that, that was 24 there, but sometimes it might go up well, a substantial amount, you know? And I mean, it looks like we need 20 to, like, get from 400, so... My math is probably so off, but hey, you know what? I'm not in school right now, so that's cool. I'm not complaining about life. So there we go. We got 70 more. We're still good. We're still still rocking it. As long as we don't run into any more ice dragons. Nope. I tried my luck. I pressed my luck. Hey, no, it's a purple worm. Purple worms are easy. They die so quickly. They do have a good attack, though. Yay. Awesome. And let's keep going. Up here. Cool. Oh god, my voice. Maybe it's because I had my coffee. Normally it seems like coffee both makes me more hyper, but also makes my voice go a lot higher pitched and cracky at times, which kind of sucks. I really hope that I don't have to ever give a speech after I drink coffee, because I'd probably end up, like, voice cracking and everyone would laugh, and well, that would be funny. Uh, it wouldn't be good for my image. Okay, Temple Chaos, let's do this. We're on the basement floor one, the one that we... I went on for a bit and there's nothing in that room. We have basilisks here, but guess what? We're all immune to paralysis, sir. Not paralysis, stoning. You can't stone us. Yeah. This ain't the lottery. That was, that was that's actually a really good short story. I don't know if any of you read the lottery. It's about like, oh, I don't want to spoil it, it's so cool. There's Some people have such cool concepts, and I just wish more and more people would be creative, but nowadays, it's like, there's very rarely have I find something truly creative that it makes me just go, wow, by concept alone, you know? <sighs> yeah, I, I bet you, at the time of this, though, this is what have made people go, wow, like, holy crap. Because, I don't know, it's like, looking back at NES games, oh my god, he's stoned! I guess he's not immune to stoning. Okay. It's okay, we, we got gold needles, we got, um, soft, not soft, we got the magic to de-stone people. I think, uh, Fuad does. So we're good. Um, I didn't know that he could be stoned, actually. Doesn't he have a ribbon on? Or am I, am I, am I really wrong? No, he doesn't. He just has the protect ring. Oh, well, I didn't get the last ribbon, I guess. Ah, whatever. Whatever. We got gold needles up the butt. That would hurt quite a bit. That's a cool sound. I like that sound. And let's keep going. Upwards, onwards, every words. Words are good. Ooh, golems. Not to be confused with golems. Bothers me when people call it a golem, but they mean golem. Or they say golem and they or they say golem and they mean golem. You know, it's very different. Even though I still I'm gonna get flamed for this. Haven't seen a single Lord of the Rings movie. Because the whole concept, I don't like, you know, high fantasy and elves and warlocks and mages. I mean, this is awesome, but this is different though because, I don't know, something about this is very different from, uh, like, even though this is based off Dungeons and Dragons, which is hilarious. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. That's the probable answer. <laughs> More Earth Medusas, as long as, you know, even if they, even if they gaze Jarek, doesn't really matter. Because, like, these guys are, like, zero issue. Even their attacks are, like, yeah, six. Oh, no, not six. That number's scary. 
So DuckTales Remastered was supposed to come out today, and I'm crying because it's not available yet. I was going to do DuckTales Remastered and then the finale, but no, it seems that it's not out yet. So I'm actually going to have to wait till after work. I'm going to die. And someone on Facebook's going to spoil the secret ending that I know is there. Ugh. Ugh. It's probably going to be Gareth, the bastard. Just because he's, he, he's the fastest thing alive. He thinks he can do all this, you know? <laughs> I wonder if I actually sound angry. I don't know. I've been told that I, I convey emotion too well and that I fool people. Which I, I took as a compliment, but I might not have because I was... I don't know. I don't even know, man, about life. More gnomas. I wonder I wonder if that G is silent if it's just Noma. Like, you know how gnome is pronounced with the, the silent G? Or, you know, it could be just gnoma. Gnomina. Boop, 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 doo, doo. Gnomina. Boop, boop, doo, boop. Perfect timing. What is in here? Oh, is this the room from before? Por qué? I thought we couldn't get to this area without having the stone slab removed. Huh. I swore there was not a door there. Unless this is a different room, which is entirely possible. Just keep on gazing, man. You won't get nothing because... Yeah, even though I hope you're not a man. Please, please be a Freudian slip and not my actual... Actually, no, wait. Wouldn't I not want it to be a Freudian slip? Because then that would be, like, my true... Feels? That'd be bad. That'd be bad. Woo! Oh, no. Oh, yeah, these guys can haste. I remember, that's... It's weird. I, I would never imagine golems as magic wielders. It just doesn't seem right to me, you know? I've always imagined golems as like pure brutes and then like, I don't know. Then again, dwarves I imagine are quite pure brutes and I know in some media they're quite uh, magical. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, this is nothing. Wow. Jeez. Waste of time. Oh my god. Enemies. Blah, blah, blah. Thankfully, we could just punch him in the face and win, or slash him with the uh, Excalibur, which in the NES was actually called Excalibur, but with j with just the letter X, and that is actually such a stupidly cool name. Sounds like it sounds like something from friggin' like Sonic or like Kingdom Hearts. It's like, well, no, in Kingdom Hearts, that'd be the key caliber because X is apparently the key. You know, it's whatever. Whoa, that bring. Wait, Final Fantasy. And, oh, dude, they should actually, like, bring that together for something. Hello! Fancy seeing you here. Okay. Sure. Um. Well, it's been a while. Let's, uh. Don't we have Daya something? Um. Eh, whatever, we'll just slash you, we'll just punch you. You know, I don't know, I honestly don't even think we need to use the frickin' Um, well actually I'm gonna use the light axe and see if that does good damage to you, because it might, you never know! And, uh, what else do we have? Um, let's actually use Invis 2. Yeah, look at that damage! I wonder if this is gonna kill him, like, honestly, is it- we just punched out the Lord of the Underworld, guys. That was... Tom, you, sir, need to calm down. You're just punching everything. Pretty soon, you're going to go home to your wife and kids, and you're going to go to hug them, and you'll accidentally punch them in the face. Man, don't do that. You know, it's sort of like... Like, you want to just hug and embrace them. But you punch them, and they explode! You can't do that! Apparently McDoodleant is playing Sonic Adventure 2. Why do I keep getting these pop-ups on Steam? It's like, I don't even care. Can I turn that off? I'm trying to play Final Fantasy, guys. And watching Tom punch every... Also, he exceeded um, Fuad for max HP. Wow, that's... Slightly surprising, actually. Also, Jarek is the only one with a non-nice number of HP, and that bothers me. That really bothers me. Okay, so, um, I think on this floor there's a bunch of items, so I want to go find those items, because I know in this- They said- No, they said the sky floor was where I could find the ultimate weapon, right? Like, other than Excalibur, because that's knights only. 
Final Destination. So, yeah, we're actually doing really good for HP. I really haven't had to heal yet. That's awesome. Maybe my grinding was, like, enough. Is this a set encounter, or is this just... Because it looked like I walked through gates. Nope. Just the fire lizard. They look so weird. They look so derpy. You know, it's like... I am the fire wizard! And it's weird, because I swear Jarek has the fire armor on. Why is he taking so much damage from fire? It doesn't make sense. But yeah, no, no, they're like... We're fire lizards! And I'm just like, what? Well, too bad, I'm gonna stab you. And apparently one stab is enough, but ten punches is. I wonder if we could get up to like 12 or like 18. That'd be so cool. It's like 18 punches. And then they're dead. Audacity had a very strange fit when I did that noise. It was like, holy crap. Oh, more lava worms. With their very, very phallic looking fluid spewing out of their mouth rapidly. Yeah. Yep, that's, uh, that's definitely a look. Definitely a phallic thing. Can we go down here? Yes. And I think the items are to the south. I think. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. Hey, it's Pyros. You look like Nomas, but you're not. I fought you guys all the way back in Mount Guru Guru. That was, um, Whitebeard, but by the way, just in case you haven't watched my One Piece Pirate Warriors playthrough, which you should because it's absolutely hilarious, because when I'm with a person, my antics are somehow crazier than when I'm alone. But it's because I can work off of them. You know, it's, it's good. I gotta say. Whether you're playing games alone or playing with a friend, there ain't nothing wrong with playing games for fun. And I know a lot of people are like, why do you do Let's Plays? They're all over the internet. You're not doing anything special. And I'm like, no. But you know what? I'm having fun. So it doesn't matter. Fire Gigas? I don't even think- Oh no, I probably ran into them. Doesn't matter, I punch you. You die. Ha ha. Victory for the motherland. Which would actually not be completely wrong because we are kind of- This is our land. And this, you know- Holy lava worms, Batman. I don't think that one's ever been said. If someone can tell me that Robin has said holy fire worms, Batman, I will probably be very happy, but also kind of sad because I'm not that original the hedgehog as I wanted to be. Oh, we are doing very well. Surprised. I mean, look, our HP is, is in a good amount for all of them. That's happy. So I'm looking for- oh, there's an item. We got the pro- oh, just another protect- oh, well, that's good still. We'll give that to someone. Uh, it goes on the shield, right. Uh, see, he has the flame shield and flame mail. That's so dumb. Um, oh, his defense goes down. Excuse me. So no one can equip it, really? I mean, you can, but it goes down. You can, but it goes- okay, fine, sure. Why not? Wobbuffet. Mega Wobbuffet. If they make Mega Wobbuffet, that, that shit would be banned so hard. Holy crap. Fire Gigas. And he goes down. Because punching. And they give decent amounts of experience. You know, even though they're their old enemies, you know. A Protect Ring? Why? That's good. Uh, except I'm not sure who I want to wear it. Uh, evasiveness goes up. Oh, well, I guess you're the only one left, so now we're all immune to insta-death. That's good. Now, I know I saw the stairs there, but I think there's more if I go down here. I think I think I'm in the treasure vault, guys. Can I swim in it? I want to swim in it. Swimminy Jiminy. But first off, killing fire lizards. Also, Brad got some, like, pie amount of damage. It was 314. That's good. Is there a door? Zeradora, the Explorer, that'd be weird. Although we could punch her, that'd be fun. Did they go? Did they go back to the old door after the weird teenage redesign? I remember seeing that and just being like, "Excuse me, what?" I, I, did they go back? Did they? Am I? Or I don't know. Like that's I don't even know what's going on. Other than punching things quite rapidly for almost 2,000 points of damage, oh my god! 
Door? Nope. That looks like- Oh, that looks like a- That's a swirly door. I like swirly doors. I wonder if that's like a weird euphemism. Swirly doors. I could see it, you know, like... For- 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 for butts. It's like, hey, yo, girl! Back up that swirly door! Uh, yes. Yes. What is there to say after I've said that? I think I've reached the point where I have said everything ever that needs to be said and there's nothing else left in this universe to be even said. Other than being punched by Giguses. It's interesting though, because the only Gigas, like... Because I, my first, my first Final Fantasy was Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles for the GameCube. And it really introduces you to a lot of classic enemies that aren't really seen in other Final Fantasy, especially newer ones. Like, holy crap, there's... When was the last time you've, like, I don't think there's Giguses in Final Fantasy 13 unless there is, and I'm probably making a fool out of myself. I just, I don't like the, I don't like the look and world of 14, or 13. 14, it goes back to classic. 15, though, looks freaking awesome, but in a non-Final Fantasy way, just in a game way, you know. Um, but hey, that's life. Lava worms. Not to be confused with sand worms. Because, you know. You don't control the, the, the lava to control the universe. You need to control the spice to control the universe. That, that reference is probably lost on everyone, but like three people who are not even really watching my part. They just leave it on to work while they do like animating or drawing their comics while I'm here and I'm impossible to even draw a straight line because I have two left hands? Not literally, that'd be horrible. We got the Sasuke. Sasuke. Can, wait, wait. Can anyone else equip that? No. We only have one, we already have a ninja. What the crap? It doesn't even, oh, that's so dumb. And I can't even throw it. What kind of ninja are you that can't throw a sword? Or dual wield swords. I mean, come on. We're at the point of the game where you should just be like, I am Jenic and I have two swords. And then you put one more in your mouth. And then you call yourself Zoro, put on a bandana, get caught by marines, get saved by a rubber man. But that's for another Let's Play, guys, which you can go watch right now if you want to, because that Let's Play was awesome. But enough reminiscing about Let's Plays, we have to go. That was an entire waste of time to get the Sasuke. Now we're going to, uh, unless we, there, I think there's one more path. If we go right up here, possibly. Moth Eye Lizards. Fiare Lizardes. Which is Latin for they are going to be died by punched. Yes. That was the most proper English you've heard. And we killed them. With our fists of awesomeness. Oh wait, wait, what? Where was this? Huh? Yes, this was a path. Right, okay, I thought I was lost. Nope, I'm going the right direction. Every time I say direction now, I feel like I'm gonna say one direction, which I don't want to say, but, you know, or I may, or I try to make a one direction joke and it ends up not being very funny, you know, because, yeah, I mean, there's uh, some jokes. Although, like, I don't know. People, do people still make Twilight jokes or, or is it dead? Is that is that a dead joke? You know, like Michael Jackson jokes kind of died when he died. You know, people are like, that's in poor taste, and it's like, well, why? How come it wasn't like a week ago? Oh, because he was alive. Because you know, speak not ill of the dead. Forsooth, I am if Jesus. I don't know. Um, let's go underground. Boop boop -a doop. Is it boobs? Yay boobs! Wow, I was just talking about how I liked Monster Girls last- Oh my goodness, that did actually quite a bit of damage to Tom. Doesn't matter, we punched him. Um, I was talking about how I liked Monster Girls last part. That was kind of interesting that this came full circle, we really, in the end. Huh. Huh. Maybe she could have been our waifu if she wasn't evil. Oh well. We can do not but wonder about the past at this point. Or possible futures. That nevereth happeneth. By the way, I'm writing the next Kingdom Hearts game. I don't know if you know this, so yeah, totally. First up, though, we ought to heal. We're actually halfway there. Halfway there. 
halfway there. Uh, I think we're now, oh, we're, holy crap, because that was the fire floor. Next is going to be the water floor. Then after that, we got the, the air floor. The air floor might be a bit of trouble, but that one is where we get that awesome weapon, dude. Not weapon dude, but like, I was, I was referring to everyone in the audience listening as dudes, even though I know there are members of the female persuasion. I just, I just said dude. I'm sorry. Is dude offensive? I don't know. 